turn to sports now. The battle to win the Pacific Division final title coming to an end tonight. It was a long, hard fought battle for the Condors with some games in the series going into multiple overtimes. It was an exciting playoff to watch tonight. The Condors just could not hang on, though, against the San Diego Gulls. 23 ABC Sports Director Kerry Osebs joining us now live from uh, San Diego with more on that game. Hey, Kerry. Hey, guys, it's pretty funny, right? A lot of overtime series during this playoff series. But again, tonight, things seem to happen quickly as the Condor season comes to an end as they lose 6-2 to the San Diego Goals in Game 6 of the Pacific Division Finals. And this is a team full of talent and depth, and they just couldn't find the right mix tonight to force that Game 7 back at home at Rabble Bank Arena, something we were all looking forward to. But let me tell you, this team, they put up the fight tonight, though. So let's take a look at some of those highlights. Of course, we're going to start it off with Josh Curry, the Hero from Game 5, and the guys, they seem loose before this Game 6, with Stuart Skinner getting a second start of the season between the pipes. But the goals, they would come out quick, getting a fast goal on Skinner from Chase DeLeo, opposite side of the net. And the Condors, they do respond. The young guys assisting their veteran player, Brad Malone, for his fifth goal of the playoffs. This tied it at one. But then the goals find momentum from Cali Kosila. He added two more in the first as Shane Sterrett would take over for Skinner between the pipes. But the Condors just couldn't seem to do much against San Diego. It's defense and goaltender Jeff Glass saving 20 of 22. The Condors, they would pick up a second period goal off Evan Bouchard, who has looked sharp in his first American. American Hockey League playoff appearance, but the Condors just couldn't keep up with the goals as they go on to win this one handily 6-2. to two. Despite a back and forth season, Bakersfield just couldn't counter what ended up being a goal's hot start to the series and then a hot start tonight in game six, making their season come to a close. Probably wasn't our best effort tonight to start the game. I thought they kind of took advantage of us a little bit early and uh, kind of dug ourselves a hole and then we we're chasing it all night, but you just got to chip your cap and and uh, I learned from it. There's a lot of young guys in this room that uh, got some bright futures. So um, whether they're here or in Edmonton, it's, uh, you know, it's a good foundation to build on. Bugsy said it right there. The future is bright for this Condors team. And this team, they brought a lot of hockey history to Bakersfield this season. And they are grateful for all that they were able to do for the city of Bakersfield, as well as for this young team building that foundation, despite ending sooner than they would have hoped. We were fighting for relevancy right from day one. I thought we got better um, uh, on a monthly basis. Uh, we won some big games. We found a way to win regardless of our situation. We won 17 games in a row, which is, you know, I've never been part of something that historic. Bakersfield uh, community as a whole, you know, they were really supportive for us throughout this whole entire playoff run, and um, we can't thank them enough. It was like having an extra guy on the ice for us every single night, and, you know, credit to them, and we really appreciate it, and thank you guys from the bottom of our hearts. Um, it's really special for the community to make the playoffs, and, you know, with, uh, with the coaching staff down here, they really built a good foundation to build off of, and there's going to be some good hockey to come for years to come. Joe Gambardella said it right there. A lot of good stuff to look forward to. Again, this team came into the playoffs, the top team in the Western Conference, winning 42 games this season. And they now watch their season come to an end right here in San Diego. And guys, you could just see it on their faces from the head coach to all the players just coming off the ice. They really wanted to bring the series back home to Bakersfield. And I think there would have been some good juice with the team coming back to Rabobank Bank Arena, but that wasn't in the cards for the Condors tonight. And again, their season comes to a close but they brought a lot of hope for hockey, I could say, to Condorstown and all around Bakersfield. So we'll look forward to see what the team's able to do next year. But for now, that wraps the Condor season and wraps my time here in San Diego, live from Pachingo Arena. Gary Osef for 23 ABC Sports. I'll send it back to you guys.